figured I had to at least start with that. So now let's take this silly filter off and go back to normal. But I do hope that you are having a wonderful Halloween. Today, we are going to talk about the scary topic of being able to say no. So what do you do when someone has asked you to do something you don't want to do? How do you say no? What do you say? Now, today, I was listening to a podcast about burnout and compassion fatigue. And this topic really struck me during that podcast that I was listening to because there were it was two women and they were talking about compassion fatigue and caregiving. Um, so, and what that means is just becoming really exhausted, burned out, cynical, maybe when you have a profession or a life in general where you're caring for other people. So it could be nurses, it could be first line responders, it could be a caregiver for a parent, you know, anyone who is just giving care all the time. But in there, they were laughing and joking. And I have said this before, they were saying, oh my gosh, I sometimes I just think about, well, what would happen if I just got like a little bit sick or like, just, I mean, just sick enough where I had to be in the hospital or if I got in a little wreck, just, just enough where I had to be in the hospital for just a little while. And then I just think about how nice it would be to be taken care of by someone else. And it's been a while since I thought something like that. And in the moment, I thought, wow, that's terrible. And a big part of that is living in this fast paced world where there's so much going on. Oftentimes your professional and your personal life might be more blurred now than ever before. You know, maybe you work at home now, maybe you don't, but it's just things have just, it just, life just keeps getting busier and busier and busier. But still, why is it so hard to just be able to turn down a request? You know, why can we not do that? Some of that may stem back to childhood. Remember, this is not a substitute for therapy or counseling, but I think we can all at least look back to our childhood and, and recall those times when maybe we were told to be nice or to be helpful. I love being nice. I love being helpful. But if we're raised in that way for our entire lives to be nice and be helpful and be nice and be helpful, it might be really hard to say no. Maybe you're a people pleaser. Maybe you feel guilty when you say no to something. Maybe you don't want to disappoint, disappoint other people. Maybe you really want approval from everyone. Maybe you're just a super positive person and you want to be able to say, yes, 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 I can do that. Yes, I can do that. And you think that you can do it all. And then when it comes right down to it, you realize that you have way overcommitted. So those are reasons it might be hard to say no. Now, what do we do about it? Just a few tips to start. And then I'm going to do just speedball. Chung, chung, chung. I'm going to give you 16 phrases that you can use to say no. But what are some, what are some other tips and tricks? Number one is to know your priorities. It's really hard for you to decide what you're going to say yes and no to if you haven't taken time to really figure out what is important to you. Number two is to practice saying no, practice assertiveness, practice in safe environments, get a friend to ask you knowing full well, you're going to say no, get a friend or a colleague or a family member to say, Hey, would you be willing to take me down to the grocery store real quick and hang out with me? You know, strange request. I don't know why I chose that. But you practice one of our phrases that we're going to say. So practice it because if you've never heard yourself say no before in an assertive, confident way, then it's going to feel weird. You don't want to say no to a major thing for your very first time. The third thing that's a helpful tip is to establish boundaries. We've heard that word boundaries. Like if you're my age in your 50s, I don't know when those books came out, maybe in the 80s. And now it just seems like a cliche word, but a boundary does not mean that you are like pushing people away from you. It means that you establish a line that you want to be between yourself and another person. And part of that is being able to say no. Um, the fourth thing is to, in your no, maybe offer an alternative solution. And I'm going to give you a formula for that in just a minute with one of those 16 phrases. And, and the fifth thing I wanted to encourage you to do is just 
practice taking care of yourself. When you find yourself to be delightful and worth taking care of, then you might realize that it's okay to say no. You know, I've been teaching communication and assertiveness classes for years, probably for almost 20 years. And how do I say no is one of the most common things. One of the responses I hear when I attend seminars, because, you know, I like to keep up and I like to hear other people train and speak, and I will hear the question come up, what, how do I say no? And I hear this a lot of times. No is a simple single sentence. You just say no, that's all you need to say. I'm sure there are times where that is, if I have a salesperson that I don't know, I'm walking through a parking lot, it's not something I want to help with, I'm fine to just say no and walk on by. If there's a relationship issue there, that might be a little bit tricky. So I'm not saying don't ever use it. But what I am saying is that it might be difficult and it might feel very aggressive to you. So take that for what you will. But the thing about it is learning to say no enables you to have more time, more energy, more of a sense of well-being and understanding what we started with. Maybe what are some reasons you might struggle with saying no? And then what are a few helpful tips to being able to say no? Then leads us to 16 ways, 16 phrases to say no. I'm going to read them to you. They will actually be in a blog post that will be on my website tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, huh, November 1st, because yes, today's Halloween. Um, I'll probably also put them in no notes, depending on where you're watching. If you're on YouTube, you'll see them there. If you're on TikTok or someplace else, you may have to go to one of those other sites. So here we go. What do you say when someone has asked you to do something and you want to say no? 16 phrases. I'm going to go fast until we get to the last few. And then I have to interject something. Some of these came from things I have said. Some of these came from um, things I've read. And then some of them have come from this book that you all have heard me talk about before. Power phrases. Here we go. I'm going to read these to you. Number one, I'm sorry, but I can't commit to this at the moment. Number two, I appreciate the opportunity, but I'm unable to take it on right now. Number three, I need to prioritize my existing workload or commitments or family time. Number four, sadly, I have something else going on. Number five, I have another commitment. Number six, I wish I were able to. Number seven, I'm afraid I can't. Number eight, I don't have the bandwidth for that right now. Number nine, I'm honored you asked me, but I simply can't. Number 10, thanks for asking me. However, I'm not able to. Number 11, I'm sorry, I'm not able to fit this in. Number 12, unfortunately, I already have plans. Maybe next time. Number, was it 12? So this would be, I don't remember, number 12. No, thank you, but it sounds lovely. Number 13, you know what? I'm all off here. So um, now I need to stop and do number 14, 15, 16. So whatever number I left off on, I'm not very good at counting. This is from Meryl Runyon, her book, Power Phrases, and she has a formula and it's called ACT or ACT, and it stands for Acknowledge, Circumstance, Transform. So she gives a few phrases, for example, Acknowledge, thanks for asking, Circumstance, I'm already committed to, Transform, thanks again for asking. And then she put it together. I'm just going to read you three that she has actually put together for you. So number 14, I understand this is important. My situation is da, 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 perhaps next time. Number 15, this is for your boss. I know this is important. I'm working on X, Y, Z. What can I put aside to make time to complete this? And number 16, I'm honored you asked. After realizing the scope of what you need, I have to pass and I wish you so much success. See, let's just end on this. If you, if you were thinking, yeah, well, that sounds easy. No, I'm not saying it does sound easy. But it's so amazing to hear yourself speak up in an assertive way. No matter what happens on the other end, you are trying. And for that, I give you loads of hugs. So get out there, say no. See you next time.